Bitcoin is on the way to our resistance level. Are Elliott waves right now going to get invalidated? In this video, you will find out what Bitcoin is going to do next. Welcome to Daily Crypto Technical Analysis. We are going to do daily Bitcoin price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and of course, price action. But before we start, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 400 likes on this video. Make sure it turns blue. It will only take you one second. If we go on the four hour time frame right now, you are going to see that Bitcoin is founding support level at around 37,500 US dollars. Because if you would go with the Fibonacci level from swing low to swing high, you would see right now that we are having a very nice support level being formed here with 0.382 Fibonacci level. And also almost exactly right here is our 50 exponential moving average on the three hour time frame. Because of that right now, it does look like Bitcoin is once again bouncing at those levels and it's once again pulling to the upside. Right now, the question is how far could Bitcoin see a pull to the upside or can we right now expect another pull to the downside in the next couple of hours? I'm going to tell you where I would be looking to go with another short or maybe even with a long position on Bitcoin in the next couple of hours. Right now, if Bitcoin is going to be able and break the previous high, that means we need to go above 41,000 US dollars. That means our ABC correction on the Elliott waves could actually get invalidated. If you are watching my videos, you would of course know we are having our Elliott waves price structure right here. And of course, after five waves, we could be expecting correction to the downside. But right now, if Bitcoin is going to be able to break 40,000 US dollars resistance level and maybe even make a higher high, that of course would mean that our corrective waves here are going to get invalidated. And maybe of course, Bitcoin could continue its way to the upside in the next couple of hours. But right now, at the moment, of course, we are still below our resistance level, below 40,000 US dollars. And right now, it does look like we could be retesting our golden pocket at around 39,600 US dollars, where we are right now having our 0.618 Fibonacci level and also our 0.65 Fibonacci level. But if we are going to right now get rejected at those specific levels or maybe even at our resistance level at around 40,000 US dollars and we are going to see a pull to the downside, maybe even break the support level, our next very important support level for Bitcoin would be around 36,500 US dollars. Because if we go once again with our Fibonacci tools, I was already showing you this Fibonacci already on yesterday's live stream. And right now you can see our 0.5 Fibonacci level or 36,600 US dollars area is perfectly aligning with our horizontal support level here on the Bitcoin price. And because of that right now, if Bitcoin is going to see another pull to the downside, here of course you could be expecting a bounce maybe and of course another pull to the upside. Also, why is this specific area so important for Bitcoin? Because today is Monday and because we got new CPR levels. It does look like our weekly CPR level here on the Bitcoin price, it's actually perfectly aligning with our support level at around 36,500 US dollars. And you can also see that our upper blue line right there is also aligning with this support level. That means right now that of course, if this support level is going to get broken, in my opinion, of course, Bitcoin is going to see a pull to the downside for more than 1,500 US dollars. Right now, if we actually go on the hourly time frame, you are going to see that it looks like we are forming a bullish pattern. You can right now see we made a low right here, but we made a lower low. But right the moment right here, when we Bitcoin actually pulled to the downside, it does look like we are once again bouncing at our support level at around 38,000 US dollars. Because of that right now, it does look like Bitcoin could be forming a bullish pattern, which of course right now it does look like it could be some kind of inverse hand and shoulders pattern. An inverse hand and shoulders pattern, of course, is a bullish pattern if we are breaking it to the upside. At the moment, it does look like Bitcoin is founding support at our neckline of our hand shoulders pattern. That means right now that we could be having a bounce here and once again pulling to the upside. But right now, if we actually go with the target from the low to the top, that means that we are measuring the target from the head to the neckline right here. Of course, you are going to see that our price target would give us another higher high here on the Bitcoin price. And that means right now that if this inverse hand and shoulders pattern is going to play out, that means, of course, our elite corrective waves right here are going to get invalidated. 
And also right now, if you would apply volume on our chart, you can see that this breakout out of the inverse Hannah Schroeder's pattern is unfortunately not really volume supported because that, of course, it is some kind of the Hannah Schroeder's pattern being formed on the price action, but on the volume right now, it's not really confirming us that we are having some kind of a breakout out of the neckline of this inverse Hannah Schroeder's pattern. So in my opinion right now, it is still a little bit risky to go with a long position on Bitcoin, and I would still be more looking to go with another short position if right now a specific level for Bitcoin is going to get broken or if a specific level right now is going to be reached here on the Bitcoin price. As I said, I'm going to tell you exactly where I would be looking to go with another short position on Bitcoin in a moment. But before we actually do that, if we look right now on the hourly time frame, someone on yesterday's live stream was actually mentioning this specific falling wedge pattern. And it does look like our falling wedge pattern actually broke to the upside. Once again, it would be a bullish indication for Bitcoin. And this falling wedge pattern right now is also signaling us why Bitcoin could reach our price target at around 41,000 US dollars. As you saw before, our inverse Hannah Schroeder's pattern is saying us that we could be reaching this specific price target. And also right now, rising wedge pattern is saying that we could go once again to the upside. Of course, if we are going to see a pull to the upside, we still need to break our very important resistance level that is right now at around 40,000 US dollars. But once again, you are going to see that if you look at the volume, it does look like volume is once again decreasing to the downside. And because of that, we are not having a spike to the upside when we broke this falling wedge pattern to the upside. Also, when we actually broke our falling wedge pattern to the upside, it also looks like we are breaking through the previous high. That means right now that on the hourly time frame, we are in the uptrend. We are making higher highs and also higher lows, which means right now Bitcoin is definitely, of course, in the uptrend here on the hourly time frame. But before I'm going to show you another bullish indication for Bitcoin, why potentially we could continue our way to the upside, if you are not already leverage trading Bitcoin and Ethereum on Bybit leverage trading exchange, I have below the like button links where you can sign up on Bybit and get up to $90 for free in trading bonus if you are going to sign up with this specific link down below, below the like button in the description. Right now, if we go on the 4 hour time frame on yesterday's live stream, also someone said that we are having a golden cross on the 4 hour time frame. That means right now that if we apply this specific indicator to our chart, you are going to see we got a death cross right here, but right now it does look like we are having a golden cross on Bitcoin. That of course means this is right now once again a bullish indication for Bitcoin and maybe of course we could continue our way to the upside. As I said before, at the moment I'm still bearish on Bitcoin and I would personally still be expecting lower prices in the next couple of days because of the alley phase price structure. But right now, because of the golden cross, of course, it could happen. That means that, of course, our alley waves, corrective waves could actually get invalidated. Also, on a daily time frame, we are looking pretty bullish at the moment. It does look like we could be forming actually second bullish pin bar in a row if this specific candle is going to be closed in around 13 hours and 30 minutes. This, of course, would be a bullish indication because it does look like we are having pretty big wicks to the downside, small wicks to the upside, and of course, a very small candle body. A bullish indication for Bitcoin why we could, of course, continue our way to the upside. If we right now go on a daily time frame on the Ether to Gas CGO Oscillator, on a daily time frame, we are curving to the downside right here. We are having a double top pattern. We are really not right now forming any bearish candlesticks right here on a daily time frame because we are having bullish pin bars, but we are curving to the downside. In my opinion, right now, this is definitely right now a bearish indication for Bitcoin, why personally I would be expecting lower prices in the next couple of days. Also, on the RSI indicator right now, it does look like we are bouncing almost perfectly at our support level or at our 50 support level right here. It does look like we are also forming some kind of a double bottom pattern. It is a bullish indication for Bitcoin why maybe our alley waves right here could get invalidated in the next couple of hours. And also right now, if you would look on the 4 hour time frame once again, it does look like we are forming a bullish divergence. Lower low on the RSI indicator, higher low on the price action of Bitcoin. It is a bullish divergence. Exactly the same thing is happening on the 3 hour time frame. We are forming lower lows on the indicators and higher lows on the price action of Bitcoin it is a bullish divergence. Also, wave trend indicator, it does look like we are having a green dot on the three hourly and also on the four hourly time frame. The green dot is going to be confirmed in around one hour and a half. Because of that, it of course would be a bullish indication for Bitcoin why potentially we could see more movement to the upside in the next couple of hours. MACD indicator also on the four hourly time frame, we are having a bullish divergence, lower low on the MACD indicator, higher low on the price action of Bitcoin. And also on the three hourly time frame, we are once again forming bullish divergences on the MACD, on the RSI, and also 
on the money flow indicator. We are forming potential bullish divergence right here because, of course, lower low on the money flow, higher low on the price action of Bitcoin. So what would that mean, in my opinion, what could right now happen with Bitcoin in the next couple of hours? Because of the allied wave price structure, I would still say right now that, of course, because of the bullish divergences, we could see a pull to the upside right now, maybe to around 40,000 US dollars. But right here, personally, I would be expecting a rejection and another pull to the downside on the Bitcoin price. Yes, I'm still staying bearish right now for intraday trading or maybe for the couple of days because of the allied waves right now. But I'm just saying right now because we are having so many bullish divergences and also maybe a golden cross on the four hour time frame because that potentially we could be expecting a pull to the upside to the resistance level or maybe to our golden pocket as I showed you before, which is right now at around 39,700 US dollars right here, rejection here or maybe right here. And that I would be expecting a pull to the downside. So if you want right now to go with a short position on Bitcoin, of course, you could be looking to go with a short position, let's say at the resistance level, let's say at around 39,900 US dollars. My stop loss would still be above the previous high because of course, if we are going to right now break the previous high, as I said before, our core active waves right here are going to get invalidated. And because that your stop loss needs to be above the previous high, that means at around 41,000 US dollars. But your target, of course, in my opinion, could actually be around 36,500 US dollars because right Right here, we are having our 0.5 Fibonacci level. And you can see right now that this specific trade would give you around 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio, which of course is a valid risk to reward ratio. And because you could be looking to go with this short position on Bitcoin, if right now, of course, we are going to see a pull to the upside at the resistance level. Yes, you still need to wait for the price reaction at the resistance level. That means a sign of rejection, because if we, if we are just going to continue our way to the upside, of course, I would personally not go with a short position. But if Bitcoin price right now is going to show us signs of weaknesses or maybe signs of rejection right here, of course, I would be looking to go with another short position here on Bitcoin. If you haven't already, please do smash a like button because today's goal is to reach 400 likes on this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because I'm uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and technical analysis videos. Right now, you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you for watching and peace out.